Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Gray Wolf 26 DBH. This camper comes in at 31 feet 9 inches tongue to bumper and weighs in just over 6,100 pounds empty. As we get started up front here we have your power tongue jack with the LED light up front so you can see at nighttime if you're hooking up. Two 20 pound LP tank bottles that will be filled by the Outpost RV. Has the hard shell cover with a quick access lid to turn them on and off as well. Behind that is going to be your battery rails where you can install a battery right there. The wires are already ran for you. Diamond plate rock guard up here with the curved radius front end. Up front with the storage compartment, we have the magnetic door catches. Uh, lots of storage up front here. As you can see, the power cord is included. And there is also a 100 watt solar panel on the roof. And that is going to be your monitor up front there. This camper is equipped with power jacks. And how that works, there's going to be a switch underneath. And one leg will come down and hit the ground first. The other one will come down and they will equal out in pressure to stabilize the camper for you. 15 foot power awning with the blue LED accent light underneath it. Also, each arm is adjustable. If the sun's coming down, you can adjust the pitch of the awning. Down below that, we have this holographic light of the Wolfhead emblem. Same as what's on the front of the camper. So at nighttime, really stands out and separates you from the others. We have your two-step, sturdy step going in where each leg is adjustable if you're on different levels of ground. Oversized grab handle. Full-size entrance door is the black tempered glass door with the full-size screen door and an integrated window as well. Outside kitchen area with your refrigerator. We have an ice maker, a water source right here, and your griddle. There is an LP quick disconnect underneath, so you can use the gas on the camper to run your grill right here. We have your furnace vent, outside entertainment center with your speakers that light up blue, a TV mount that's the same as the one on the inside, so you simply lift your TV up, bring it out here and drop it in, and your TV connection's here. Down below, we have the center cap popped off. These are quick, easy lube axles. All four wheels are going to have self-adjusting brakes and a tire pressure monitoring system. How that works is the side of this will turn red if you are low on air. So we will unscrew that to demonstrate. That way you can walk around and do a visual check before you head off for your next destination. Right here, we have a black tank flush. So when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you hook up a water hose here when you're dumping your tanks and that'll blast out the black tank and keep that cleaned out for you. Full size entrance door going into the bathroom. We are also pet friendly here. We have your leash latch so the furry family members can tag along there. Four inch tube bumper where you store your sewer hose. We have your travel rack with the spare tire and cover mounted to it as well. Up top, it comes with the backup camera, the observation camera there. So actually, I apologize, the backup camera so you can see while backing up. And then we have your roof ladder prep over here. So you can add a roof ladder, a telescoping ladder for roof maintenance purposes. In the back, we have a lot of storage here since it is the bunk bed model. And right down below that, we have your dump station. Black handle for the black tank, gray handle for the gray tank. We have your outside light right here by your water connections and dump so you can see at nighttime what's going on. Outside shower with hot and cold water. Again, this is a 30 amp unit and it comes with a 25 foot detachable uh, power cord. Water fill station, we have your city water on the right. So if you're at a campground, you hook your water hose up here and that'll pressurize the lines. If you're dry camping or boondocking, you fill up your fresh water tank, turn on the water pump, and use that water. As we move in front of the slide room here, we are gonna have a cable connection. So if you're at a campground that offers that, you can tap into it and use the cable that they offer. And last but not least, we have your on-demand water heater. It is a tankless water heating system, so gas only, but you're only using gas when you're hunting, running hot water, so very efficient, about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. That'll conclude our outside walkthrough of the Gray Wolf 26 DBH. Now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have the wolf head emblem cut out in the step as well. And then right inside, we are going to have another light shining down that says gray wolf. So that is another cool feature that they do here. We'll walk inside, get a nice overview of the camper. Got the large slide room with the sofa, the dinette, double bunks in the back, big pantry over there. And in the kitchen area here, We'll get started right up on the wall. This is your main control panel. This camper is equipped with 12 volt heating pads on your holding tanks under the camper, giving it more of an extended season package. You can run your awning in, slide room in and out, and turn your lights on and off there. 
Lots of overhead storage. We have the range vent that will vent to the outside, a huge kitchen window. We also have your double outlets over here on the left-hand side, large kitchen sink. We have the high-rise faucet that is a pull-out sprayer as well. As you can see, it is the farmhouse style sink. Storage down below and over here on the left, there is actually going to be a built-in trash can now. I'll try and open that up for you here. If you don't like that option, you can just remove the trash can and use that as another storage area. We have your furnace underneath the microwave. The microwave is a convection microwave and an air fryer all in one. We have your three burner stove up top with the glass cover. 12 volt refrigerator, which is why we also have the solar up top. So you can run this when you're traveling down the road. It is much deeper and bigger than the gas electric style. This is 12 volt only. Underneath that, we are going to have your breakers and fuses. The red key is going to be for your 12 volt cutoff switch. Your furnace vents are ducted through the cabinets, so no vents in the floor. And then we also have a voltmeter down there. In the pantry area here, this goes all the way up to the top. As you can see, we got shelves. Lots of storage in here. And there is a lip on the shelf as well, so you can utilize that when traveling. In the back area, we have your bathroom in the corner. As you can see, we have that entrance door from the outside. Directly inside, we have the toilet area with your shower. We have the curtain that pulls straight across, skylight up above that. And we also have this multi-speed vent fan in here. Over here, we have a corner medicine cabinet, which gives you more storage there as well. Right beside the entrance door, we have a light switch, 110 outlet, and then a thermostat for your on-demand water heater. You will turn it on and off there and adjust the temperature of the water. Large single bowl sink with plenty of storage underneath as well. And now we will step out and take a look at the bunk beds. Again, we have the double bunks. We've got the window up top. We also have the USB and USB-C charge port up here. Those will be throughout the camper. A 110 outlet up top. Privacy curtain that pulls around. And we will also have a window down below here. And again, off to the right-hand side with the light and the charge port over there. Directly underneath, we are going to have some storage. It will come with a ladder to help get into that top bunk area that is built in as well. We have your digital thermostat for your air conditioner and furnace. In the slide room area, we have the zebra blinds, which really dress up the camper. They can be darkened like they are now or partially open to let in some sunlight. Large U-shaped dinette with storage underneath all seats. On the ends, we have drawers that pull out, and there is storage behind the middle seat as well. We have a jackknife sofa in the slide room that will lay flat to turn into another sleeping area. And with the entertainment center up there, we have storage down below. We have the decorative shiplap wallboard. We have your fireplace, which is electric, that will put off heat, or it can be on for looks as well. We have your stereo, which is AM, FM and Bluetooth compatible, and of course your TV connections up top. You can install a TV in the bedroom and run the wires through that grommet up top there. As we move to the bedroom area, we're gonna have windows on both sides. There's gonna be a 110 outlet on both sides of the bed as well. Hanging storage over here. We'll have more storage up top and hanging storage off to the other side as well. Queen size mattress, and the bedding is included. Off to the other side, we are gonna have a 110 outlet that looks a little bit different. That is going to have a built-in inverter in it. So that 110 outlet you will be able to use when traveling down the road if you need to plug in a laptop, would be a perfect scenario for that. Another window in here, and the air conditioner is ducted all the way through. 
And we will step back outside here, get one more nice overview of the camper. Up on the ceiling, we have your speakers, which light up blue. Plenty of lights up there as well. And your air conditioner centrally located. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Gray Wolf 26 DBH. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.